Hey, this is Neil in Studio A, and I'm sitting in front of our Audient ASP8024, which is our 36-channel inline console here at Studio A at Capital University. So let's just briefly have an overview of what this is and what this can do. So for any studio, particularly with a large format analog console, this will be the heart of the studio. Depending on what we're doing with the studio, this is going to be where everything comes in and out of. So it's important that we know what it's doing. So, of course, we're going to have mic and line inputs. So we're going to have an input section. We'll talk about that. We have our outputs. We're either going to be running to our analog machine or to Pro Tools, and there's different outputs that we can do with that. It's a monitor mixer. If we're recording or overdubbing, our talent is also going to be having their mixes done by us through here out into the control room. It's also monitoring what's coming through our speakers, in this case the Genelec speakers through our studio space. And finally, it's the summing mixer. Everything's coming in here and then eventually going through, in this case, our stereo master fader that will be going through our speakers. So at different points along the way, we can either monitor the input signal, we can monitor the output signal, or we can monitor the master signal. So there's a lot going on here. You'll notice there's two sets of faders here. That should tell you that this is an inline console. And what that actually means is there's actually two signal paths per row. So I have a fader here and a fader here. Why do I need two signal paths? One is going to be the input path, the path that either the mic level signal or the line level signal. For our purposes, I'm going to continue to use mic. Recording an act client out in the studio, and I have a mic level signal. Of course, going to hit the mic preamp, and I'm going to have some gain. And then I need to route it somewhere. So I'm going to route it to my multi-track. I can monitor that signal and make sure I'm not clipping the preamp, and the metering would tell me that. But that's not the place that I want to monitor it. I want to monitor it after it's hit the multi-track, because I want to make sure that what I'm actually recording is clean. If I spend time monitoring before I get to the multi-track, I could have a loose cable, I got get disconnected, I could have RF on the line, I could have the multi-track actually not re even record engaged, and I wouldn't even know, because I'm listening to the input signal. So I want to listen to the signal after the multi-track, the farthest it's along the way. And if I'm listening to after the multi-track, then I know exactly what I'm hearing. And that's what potentially this other path is. So one path is the input from the mic, the other is the input, or you could say the output of the multi-track, and that's what I'm monitoring. So with a split console, I have the mic line signal or the multi-track signal. Now the thing I could do is I can switch these. I could make this the mic and this the multi-track. Why would I want to do that? Well, if you remember from recording, we set our gain with our preamp. So what is our fader technically going to be at? Unity gain. So if I'm recording, and I'm doing this correctly, all my faders will be at unity gain. I don't need to touch those. Mic preamp, unity gain to the multi-track of my level set. But as I'm mixing, I want to have a balance of all the different instruments, my kick drum, my snare drum, my room mics. So I might want the large faders that are here closer to my hands that I can operate. And if I accidentally touch one and I move one, it's not going to affect the recording level. These are all protected by this row. Now they both have pan knobs, so if I wanted to do that, they both have solos. I could monitor through the solo. And they also have mute buttons. And on this console, it doesn't say mute, it says cut. And when you cut, if you can see, they turn red. And now I'm cutting that signal or muting the signal. So some interesting language with this console.